Upon downloading the app, use the credentials you signed up to Act365 with. You have options for the app to remember you or to reset your password. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to continue using our Global Deliveries Direct demo. So if I click login, the first screen we enter gives us a summary of all our recent issues across all sites. For example, at our Global Deliveries Direct site, we can see there's a break glass issue. Hence, when the customer rings reporting the door won't lock, we know it's because the break glass has been pushed. So we can preempt the action required to resolve the issue and the estimated time it should take to resolve. We can also click on the event, which will bring us into that customer. We also have an option to organize our sites from A to Z. We can click on these once more. And lastly, we can click near me, which will show us the distance we are currently from that site. I've selected customer sites. I'm going to select GDD Irish Warehouse. And now I'm in this site. So I can do a lot from the app. I can control the doors. I can manage our card holders. I can look at cameras. I can also look at recent events on site and I can click on muster report to see everybody who's on the site. I also have an option up here to see the site on a map or alternatively, if I need to ring them, I can simply click on the phones. Okay, let's look at these features individually, starting with doors. When we click on the doors, we see a list of all the doors belonging to that site. If a door is offline, it appears as gray. So let's click on the front door. Upon doing so, we can send commands to the door, such as uh, normalize, pass, lock and unlock. So let's take an example. Your customer arrives at their site on Monday morning and finds out that their reader has been vandalized. They can't access the door to their premises. They contact you. You can remotely control the door and unlock it for them, allowing them in. You can then organize a call out, reducing stress for both you and the end user. And this is really giving your customer a premium service. So this app is very beneficial. OK, so let's click back to go back to the home screen and look at the other features. What we want to look at next is manage card holders. So we select this. We see all the users who are part of that site. We can see also who is on site and not on site. For example, PJ Bourne, not on site. Martin McNamara, currently on site. We also have a feature up the top here that allows us to search for um, a card holder if we had many, many card holders as opposed to trying to sift through a list of them. Um, so if your customer rings and says uh, an employee has left and we want to disable them off the system, can you help me? You can just remote into your app and you can ask them who it is, search for them, and then you can select this tab here and this will disable them um, from accessing the site. So upon doing so, it'll prompt us for the pin to confirm our action so we don't accidentally do it. And that is all that is required to disable a user from accessing the site. Now let's return back to the home screen. If we had any cameras, VCU units uh, set up on our site, we could select them and see our camera streams. Um, we don't, so let's have a look at recent events. So this will show us all the recent events for the site. So for example, we can see the door was unlocked. We had an access denied by David Moore now the time zone. Uh, Brendan tried to access, he was disabled. Um, so we can, if someone was having an issue, we could look through the recent events and say if someone's not being permitted access to a door, we can see that, okay, you weren't granted access because um, you're out of time zone. You actually don't have access or permission to get through that door uh, during this time. In addition to the muster report being emailed to the fire warden, a very powerful feature of the Act365 app is the real-time muster report. Using the Act365 smartphone app, you can run a muster report that updates as cardholders swipe out of a building. Again, you can see that you can call the person if they're not accounted for. So we can just tick them off like so. Or alternatively, we can hit the phone symbol if a number has been assigned to their profile and then we can call them. Okay, so one of the really last useful features I want to show you is how to add on a controller from the app. So this is really beneficial if you're up in a ladder away from your laptop or PC um, and you can add on the controller from your phone and authenticate and verify that it's working. So we simply click the little plus button up in the top right hand corner and then it'll prompt us to put in the controller unique identification number. Okay, so I'm going to punch in an ID number here and give the new door a name and then simply click activate controller. And now we see CUID, 
registered successfully. And that's how simple it is to add on an additional ACU using the ACT 365. <laughs>